Hey everybody, it's Kelly from My Soulful Home. Today we're going to be talking about low budget and high style decor ideas. When we took on the task of renovating our 1886 home, I knew I was going to have to get creative to get the look that I wanted. And I did. And I'm going to share those five ideas for low cost, high style with you today. So the thing about having a budget is that it really forces you to be creative. And really, who doesn't have a budget? I think it's more exciting when you sort of have limitations. And so you have to think of new ways to approach something. And that's what I've done with these five things. So I encourage you to think that way when you're renovating your own house. And I hope some of these ideas I'm sharing today resonate with you. Sometimes I get my best creative ideas strolling the aisles in Home Depot. Like I seriously think I should be given one of those orange vests. I spend a lot of time at Home Depot. And when we were renovating the house, I was in and out of there probably daily. And I was really struggling with appliance handles because I didn't want to spend $200, $250 on an appliance handle for my refrigerator and my freezer. Mine are separate, so I would have had two handles. So I'm strolling in the aisle, the bathroom section, and what do I see but these bathroom safety bars, ones that would help somebody you know, get in and out of the tub or something like that. And they're really sturdy. They come in oil rub bronze, Perfect. So I bought two of those and I couldn't be happier. So another thing I really struggled with in renovating the house was the detail of the registers. So the vents that let the AC and the heat come in. So we had these really cool ones that came with the house, but they were all sort of scratched up and rusty. So I um, cleaned them up and spray painted the black. Great solution there. These are super heavy and they go in the floor. But the ones that are the returns, you know, that everybody has and they are on the wall, those are big. And when I was trying to get ones to match these, they were so expensive. It had to be a custom size. It was like three, four, five hundred dollars $500, even more, depending on the design that you picked. Plus, you'd have some really big, heavy piece of metal up on the wall. So I'm in Home Depot again. And what do I see in the end cap? But these sheets of um, gold sort of screening with the design. And I thought, well, that would let the air in and out and maybe just put a frame on it and attach it with a couple of screws. Bam, there's your return vent. So that's what we did in this house in the few places that we have return, large return vents. So we created just a frame around the screening material, two little screws. So when you need to take the filter out, just unscrew them, pop it out, put a new filter in and replace it. So I really, really liked that screening material. And I was thinking, how else can I use this? So what I did was I used it as the insert in the cabinet doors in our small office in the house because that's where we have the router and whatnot. And so those things, you know, it's better to have air around them and also that they can speak to your computers and all of that. So it was a great way to solve that problem. And it looks really sharp against the Benjamin Moore Kendall charcoal paint that I talked about in one of the previous videos. So my fourth idea for you for low cost and high style is a flush mount light specifically a schoolhouse light. Super charming lights. You've definitely seen them all around Pinterest on the blogs and they're pretty expensive in the lighting catalogs, but you can get the two separate pieces. So the globe and then the metal ring that attaches to the globe and then attaches to the ceiling separately at your Home Depot. And it's going to look like that. Okay, you guys, this fifth one, it's maybe not going to be for everybody. It involves a garbage can. Stick with me. So I see this garbage can in Home Depot and it's this galvanized garbage can. It's kind of got a nice shape. It's ribbed and whatnot. And what I really wanted was two tall planters, which actually turned into now four tall planters. And I thought, what if I just spray painted that garbage can black? And then I put my trees in it. That would be great height for the trees. And I think it might look pretty good. I love the way it looks. Everybody who's come here is like, is that a garbage can? That looks great. But maybe they're just being nice. But so you decide for yourself. So what I would do, I suggest that you do, and what I did was turn that garbage can over, drill some holes in it, wear some goggles or close your eyes or put your glasses on or something when you do it so you don't get shards. Just drill like five or six holes. You want some drainage in there. Then get some bags, a lot of bags of uh, potting soil fill it all up and put in a large, like maybe you can even fit like a 10 gallon plant in there. 
So I think it looks really nice. You let me know in the comments. I'm sure somebody is going to not like it, but that's okay. Since we're talking about a low cost and high style today, I wanted to share these two new items that I got. You guys are probably going to love them as well. It's this really large pitcher, great for flowers, gorgeous, really nice and hefty, like actual iron stone. Love it. And this footed bowl, same thing, really lovely, hefty, really, really inexpensive. So I'm going to link both below in the video description. Check them out. So I think I proved today that if you get creative, you can have high style in any budget. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified when I put out a new video. If you try some of the ideas that I share today, please let me know and I'll see you next time.